everybody, it's Mary with Time TV. We're here in crazy Hollywood at the G.I. Joe premiere. A lot of great stars. Let's go see what they have to say. Gunnar, can you tell us a little bit about your role in G.I. Joe? Yeah, I play a Secret Service agent uh, opposite Jonathan Price, who plays the president. And um, yeah, it was uh, working with Jonathan was, was fantastic because the guy has got credentials of the finest actors, but yet I'll never forget we were like in the break room. He's sitting like in a in a in a break room chair reading the paper and just like the most low key, the coolest guy, and was really patient with a, kind of a newcomer like me. Uh, movie's great, tons of action, um, popcorn flick. It's fantastic. Thank you. Good. Good. So uh, you're the executive producer? I'm the producer on the movie and I'm uh, president and CEO at Hasbro. Okay, and how, what's it like working on G.I. Joe? Well for us, you know, it's like a dream come true because in the 80s this was a comic book brand and an animation brand and a toy brand and it's so much fun to be able to bring this to the fans and Steve Summers has done such a great job of making this a live action comic book, a real thrill ride. Don't go to the bathroom, you know, don't, don't leave your seat. You'll miss something, it moves, it's great. It's a really fun movie. So what can the moviegoers expect from this movie? You know, I think it's a real action-filled ride. They're gonna get to see all the characters that they've always loved, but people who don't know the brand are also gonna be familiarized with all the characters, get to know what this is all about. It really is an origin story so that you can all catch up to the, the whole saga that's been around for 25 years. Sure, and if the movie does great, which I'm sure it will, can we expect a G.I. Joe 2 maybe in the future? Well, if the movie does great, then why not? You know, it'll be fun. There's a lot of stories yet to be told. It's like Transformers. We had a, a great opening with Transformers, and we did a first one and then a second one, so who knows? Okay, great. Thank, Thank you so, so much. much. Thanks so much. Hi. Hi, guys. I do have one quick question. Okay, you're, you're such a, a dainty, delicate woman. I mean, we might be surprised, but what are we going to be surprised about you? Because I actually home? look like I'm very strong and tough in this film because I put on muscle and things like that. I, uh, I did six weeks of fight training and I've never really gone to a gym in my life, so I had muscles. And, you know, and I think the film is surprising in a lot of ways. It's really funny. It's character driven. It's not just explosions. It's actually like good versus evil with really cool characters and being the villainess is great. Awesome. Thanks. Awesome. Thanks. Yeah. Uh, you've been, uh, you're, you're probably uh, first from, uh, I'm from, uh, you're from originally from, you, from the UK. What's the hardest thing to adjust in Hollywood? I think Hollywood's a pretty easy place to adjust to in terms of how great the lifestyle is here. It's great weather, great people. Yes, that's complicated. Although I just, I didn't really drive in England. I only just passed my driving test, so. So Aubrey, what are you working on right now? I just released a song, uh, a remake of the 80s Eddie Murphy, Rick James song, Party All the Time. And um, aside from that, I'm gearing up to move to Vegas in two weeks to start my run for Peep Show. I'll be there September through December performing in Mel B's role. I'm taking her spot in the, the Vegas production. Um, my reality show is filming I'm, um, during that time, and I'm also releasing the summer line in my clothing line, Heart on My Sleeve. Standing in front of you, a Delta Six Accelerator suits. What's it accelerate? You. It'll make you run faster, jump higher, and hit harder than any of your enemies. Tell me what it was like for you to do this film. Oh man, it's a boiled dream, isn't it? I mean, you know, I love treading the balls in the theater. I love the drama, but you get a chance to have a big, fat Gatling gun that shoots <laughs> 600 rounds per second, and you got a tight, nice, sexy leather suit on a sharp haircut, and you got a nice broad on your shoulder. How are you gonna turn that down? Of course, that's the cherry on top, isn't it, darling? There you go. And they let me say that, you know, the Yo-Jo. So I figured they wanted to reinvent it. So it's a, it's a good blast. It was a blast. Okay. Um, when, when you got called for this, did they just say, just look in the camera? Just need the snake, guys. That's it. Do the look. Do the look. Do the look. Do the look. So of all the, all the top characters that you've played, 
I'm the biggest kid, she's the toughest mama. Thank you. All right, Leo, can you tell us a little bit about your character in the movie? Absolutely. I play the younger version of Snake Eyes, who is Ray Park. And what happens is there's two characters, Snake Eyes and Storm Shadow, and they're always fighting in the movie. And it flashes back and it tells you why they're fighting, what the reason, what happened between them. How you doing? Good. How are you? Good. Um, it was great, man. A lot of work, a lot more work than you think it, think it is. You know, uh, it's it's you know all day long. You're running, you're jumping, you're chasing things, you're, you're screaming out lines, and you're wearing costumes that's really uncomfortable, and you're sweating like a pig. And while you were doing all of that, what was Rip Force trying to do? Like, what was his purpose? I was like, huh? Oh, <laughs> Rip Corps don't even want to be in the army. He don't want to be in with the Joes. He just want he wants to be in the Air Force. He wants to fly planes. But what's cool is. At the end of the day, he finally gets to fly a plane, help save the world. Got to go. Right. They starting the movie. Did Love y'all. Huh? You, you got to pay your money and see that. Oh. We still here, right? I really appreciate that. Well, Neil is, has always been really, really good to me, and his jewelry is so amazing. Boys are like in a wrestle over there. I'm trying to be a lady here. Yeah, you have no idea what it was like. When I, the only days I got to work with Sienna were the days that we fought each other in the film. So I spent most of my time with Marlon, Channing, Adewale, Saeed, and Ray. Which was great because they had to treat me like a princess, but it was also a bit of a boys club. So, you know, I had to kind of be one of the boys. They pranked each other a lot, which was arduous at times, but uh, I hung in there. Yeah, what, what's behind the scenes when we don't see what's on camera? <laughs> oh my God, behind the scenes is the boys in accelerator suits and they're sweating and they're grumpy and there's fans everywhere and we're in small, confined spaces. Oh golly. Yeah. That smell bad. <laughs> That's what I was getting at. I wasn't going to say it, but. <laughs> My character is one of my childhood icons, so I mean, it, my, my character is like one of my heroes, so it's, I don't really think I can try to explain how weird it is to play one of your heroes, like, so it's, it, you always have someone else in mind in your head, but then it, you start to do the movie and like you look next to you and there's Snake Eyes standing next to you and Snake Eyes is like one of my, like, he's just, every, I mean, I don't know, like I ran around in my front yard thinking I was Snake Eyes, so it's like, you're like, what's up Snake, like, I'm still, it, shh. Come on, man. You gonna, you gonna, you gonna like, you just gonna throw me out right there under the bus just like that? Was there? Trying to keep that inside. <laughs> of course I'm playable. Yeah, definitely. My dog is, is Timber. Like, you know, he plays. Uh, I don't know if you guys even know Snake Eyes had a had a wolf as a as a companion. No. Yeah, I didn't think so. You guys didn't look like the. Um, the you, you know GI Joe, but you don't know GI Joe. We came for the guy. Right. Hey. Well. <laughs> I love your honesty. Yeah. I love your honesty. It's brilliant. And we love you, Channing. <laughs> so can you tell us a little bit about married life? Is it different? It's not a different at all. I think if you do it right, nothing changes. You know, I mean, I'm... So thank you very much. Nice no, I mean, seriously. I mean, look, if, if, you, if, you're not, if you're not sitting there and like, oh, should I get married? If you're saying, should I get married? You shouldn't get married. Like, you should be like, no, I'm, I need to get married. Like, and that's, that's what it is. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you guys. All right, you guys. Sadly, our night has come to an end. We got to interview all the great cast. Such a humble cast. I had a great time. I'm so excited for the movie. And I hope you guys join me again on Red Carpet.